Hey, welcome to Diabetes Health TV. I'm joined by one of our neighbors here in the greater San Francisco Bay Area, Ramsey McCarr. Welcome to our show. Hello, Scott. And he's dropped by our office here to bring his newest product, Miracle Muffins. I'll show you a tray that he baked these to bring them over, and I just ate one, and it's delicious. But we'll tell you a little bit more about what's in here. Ramsey, give us a little bit about how you got this company started. Well, I started uh, because I wanted to bake a muffin for my mom, who's been diabetic for 25 years. And I started trying to make a cookie, but I could not get the cookie to crisp up properly. So I decided to put them in a muffin pan, and I created a muffin. And then after a little while, I, my family decided I should turn this into a business, and here we are, making muffins. And, and they come in containers that look like, like this. Not like this. This is a container of muffins. Mm -hmm. And tell us what the customer does. Well, when you receive the container, you just add uh, two and a quarter cups or two and a half cups, depending on which line it is, of water. You mix it. You let it sit for a few minutes. Then you put it in a muffin pan. You bake it for 20 minutes, and you have fresh baked muffins right out of your oven at your home. That's great. And what I always do first is I go to the uh, ingredients list, and it has great things like wheat bran, uh, wheat gluten, cocoa, sunflower seeds, protein. And the biggest thing is this, which is sweetened with Splenda, it has two kinds, only has 12 grams of carbohydrate, and over half of that is fiber. So this has a net carbs of uh, 5.6 grams, which is very small. I know when I buy bread for my children, I always look at fiber, and whole wheat bread sometimes only has two grams of fiber, mm -hmm. or three, or four if you're lucky. So one of these has almost double the fiber you get in a slice of whole wheat bread and, and much less carbs. So what's the response been so far? Uh, it's very good. Uh, we have a lot of people ordering these who are diabetic as well as people who are on Weight Watchers, on Nutrisystem, because, because they're under 100 calories a piece, they actually fit in all the popular diets right now. Mm -hmm. um, so they, the low carb works for people, the, the, the fact that they're vegan, uh, the fact that we have an all-natural line makes people pretty happy. And the, 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 how easy it is to have fresh-baked muffins in your home. Mm -hmm. You just add the water. That's it. And everybody has water. So, <laughs> And wh where can our viewers get these? Uh, the easiest place to get them is on our website, which is www.miraclemuffins.com. Mm -hmm. uh, they can order both lines. Um, mm -hmm. They're shipped uh, by priority mail, and you get them in two or three days. Mm -hmm. So you can ship them without refrigeration? Yes, because we're shipping a dry mix. And so you will oh. receive the dry mix, and you'll bake them at your home when you're ready for them. Mm -hmm. So once they're baked, they, you, you can have them for two days outside, or you can put them in the fridge for about 10 days, or you can freeze them for up to two months. And then what you do is you take them out, put them in the microwave for 10, 15 seconds, and you have fresh baked muffins right out of your microwave. <laughs> You can microwave them too? Absolutely. Because we, because we have a very small amount of starch, unlike bread, which becomes all soggy, these will actually microwave very well, and they taste just as if they came out just out of your oven. So, so you can mix up small batches, if like you, one muffin or two muffins at a time? If you have a scale, because when we're shipping it, what happens is uh, the, the, the mix will actually settle, mm -hmm. and so you can't measure it out. You have mm -hmm. to actually weigh out, say, half the mix and then you can bake so only six muffins. But you, do, you really don't want to bake them in the microwave because you know, if you have a metal pan, it will cause you problems. But you can bake six muffins if you can weigh out half the mix. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, bake the whole thing, freeze it, and you can have them anytime you want. Okay, so they store well in the freezer. Very well, up to two months. So, so let's talk about the two sweeteners. Um, it was telling me before we turned the camera on that you started with the Splenda, mm -hmm. and then there was actually a shortage. Yes. And he was afraid he wasn't going to get any more Splenda at all. I guess Splenda is selling a lot. People are buying a lot of Splenda these days. And then you started the second kind with uh, xylitol, which is a sugar alcohol. And as a lot of our readers know, there's been several different kinds over the years, and some of them had negative side effects. What do you hear about the xylitol? Okay, uh, xylitol is tolerated by 99.5% of the people. So people who cannot tolerate maltitol or isomalt most people can, can tolerate xylitol. For me, I cannot to tolerate um, maltitol. One jelly bean and I've got problems. With xylitol, I test it up to a whole cup in one shot 
and I was fine. I didn't have any problems. I decided not to go any further than that. But mm -hmm. um, so now, for anybody who's diabetic, of course, you have to test before and after to make sure that it's working okay for you. But Can it's you test actually, your blood sugar. Test your blood sugar too. I mean, because we don't know for sure, 100 percent, that everybody's going to react the same way. But try it out. Also, the other thing is because of the high fiber the xylitol will have much less effect because the fiber will actually stabilize your stomach. Uh -huh. And what happens to your mom's blood sugar when she eats these? Uh, usually it, it barely goes up, maybe 10 points. Um, so she can eat it. She has them every day. You know, I bake them for her. She's too lazy to mix water. <laughs> well, she, since I hope I, she's not watching. <laughs> no. I mean, it's, it's she. She loves the muffins. Um, I think her favorite is the chocolate black cherry, um, but she likes all the flavors. So, what are the flavors? You have chocolate black cherry. Yeah, we have banana and blueberry. Black together? No, banana, separate. Okay, separate. We have banana. We have blueberry. We have black cherry. We have cinnamon green tea. We have a chai spice black tea, and gingerbread and. The, the black, uh, chocolate black cherry is only available in the Splenda line. It's not mm -hmm. yet available in the Xylitol line. Mm -hmm. But all the others are available in both lines. How do people decide? Should you, would you suggest they try both and see what they do to their blood sugar or um, what their preference is? It's whatever your preference. If you're a person who likes Splenda already, you're going to like the Splenda line. The Splenda line is a little bit sweeter because Splenda is a high intensity sweetener. The xylitol is a little less sweeter, but it's more moist. So the muffin actually tastes a little bit more moist. Mm -hmm. So if you like a more moist muffin, you'll find the xylitol mm -hmm. is, is your preference. Mm -hmm. um, most brand muffins have two or three grams of fiber in them, and yet they'll taste like a hockey puck, like very dense. Ours are not. I mean, you tasted mm -hmm. them. Right. They're more spongy. They still taste like a healthy muffin. Mm -hmm. They just definitely don't taste like a, a full of sugar, full of fat muffin. Mm -hmm. uh, but they, they do have that spongy texture, even though they have the eight grams. Well, talking about, I have to have another bite. You can <laughs> see it definitely is high in the wheat bran, mm -hmm. which I love. And I'm always trying to get more bran into my diet. How, how many grams are we supposed to have of fiber a day? Between 25 and 30. And, and it's hard to get that much fiber. Absolutely. I know for me. Right. Um, so this is a great way to get your fiber. Mm -hmm. And it's which, a combination of soluble and insoluble fibers. Mm. It's not just one or the other. So it should be good for other things other than diabetics. It's, it should be good for your cholesterol, your blood, your blood pressure. Uh, there are all kinds of benefits that you get from having these are good. fiber. Okay. These are good. And a reason why I do low carb, I eat, I try to avoid I don't need to eat any more than 12 grams of carbs in a meal, mm -hmm. which is pretty low, and I could fit this right into my Absolutely. to my uh, program. One of the other That's options, right. um, like my sister does this, she, instead mm -hmm. of making a full-size muffin, she'll make mini muffins, and they can mm -hmm. get 36 mini muffins out of each, each container. Maybe a third of one of these. A so. third of one of these. Mm -hmm. And then what she'll do is she'll take them to work and snack with them throughout the day to help get rid of the your afternoon craving mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. an hour or two after lunch you get this suddenly I need this cup of coffee or a candy bar and by having these muffins throughout the day the the fiber will help stabilize her blood sugar and so she doesn't snack she doesn't go into that you know low blood sugar thing That's but she's not idea. diabetic at all how do you get the mini muffin tins? I've never heard um, of those. You can buy them at Bed Bath & Beyond, at Walmart. Oh, yeah? uh, and I use an ice cream scoop. That way I know that they're all equal sure. in size. Yeah, you get the small ice cream scoop and you make 36 out of them, or you make the 12. Even the large ones, we use ice cream scoop so that we know that they're equal size. Are there mini papers, or are the mini ones just baked in the tin itself? Uh, normally, um, I'll bake them straight in the tin, spray a little you know, uh, Pam or whatever the spray is. Uh, into a Teflon pan, even though, even if you have a Teflon pan, a non-stick pan, you still have to spray it because it will hold on to the edge of the pan because of the very high fiber. Um, so it's best to spray a little bit, bake it straight in the pan, it'll come out, and mm -hmm. then they'll be nice and brown on the outside. Mm -hmm. um, the large ones, the xylitol ones can be baked in, in paper cups. They will stick a little bit to the paper, but, you know, that's what you get for high fiber. <laughs> So I really appreciate, in an effort to bring great things to eat for myself and my friends with diabetes, you, you gave up a career in, in 
in tech finance? In finance as well as uh, software, yes. Engineering? Engineering, yes. Do you have an engineering degree? I have an engineering degree and a finance degree, yes. And now he's using that engineering degree to engineer muffins that, that even I can eat. <laughs> Thanks for coming over to show us uh, this it's great new product. My pleasure. Thank All you, right. Sir. Best of luck to you. Thank you.